Okay, today I'm going to show you that you do not need the top end radios to do FT8. You can do it with relatively old radios. There's a notion out there, and I've seen it posted, where people say, oh, if you want to do FT8, you got to buy the, the top ICOM or Kenwood or Yesu or whatever to do it. But you don't have to. This radio is a Kenwood TS430S I bought in 1977. So we're going to see that you can do FT8 without buying the latest and greatest rig. Nothing wrong with getting one of those, but you don't have to. Is what I've got with the Kenwood, I have a cable here. This black cable goes into the mic. This is the mic a jack. You have one wire and it goes to the mic pin. This other one is just hooked up just like for headphones. And this one goes to the computer. Both of these go to the computer. The mic goes to the speaker output of the computer. Think of it this way, the computer is feeding audio into the radio. So this goes to the speaker. This goes to the mic input because the radio is feeding audio to the computer. Now, down here, you'll see some resistors. I have a string of resistors. You need these resistors because you want to limit the current coming out of the uh, computer. It's fairly high current and it could damage the radio. The minimum ohms that I use is 47 kilo ohms, but this goes a little higher. I have a variable resistor down on the yellow lead right here. That variable resistor it's exactly what it's for, is to, to change that if you need a little bit more current into the radio. But you can control that another way too, which we'll see later on. So these, resist these resistors are important. It's so you don't run the radio. It's also so you don't over-modulate and put out uh, harmonics across the band. It tends to make other hams unhappy. Also tends to be illegal. You can use a TNC. A TNC is a terminal node co connector and it helps, it helps control that so you don't uh, overmodulate. This takes place of the TNC, but the TNC is more complicated than that. There's more things in it, more circuitry in it to help you so you don't, uh, like I said, so you don't overmodulate. That's important not to do. That's the only thing about this method is that you have to be careful and it all goes into this dark hole which is my computer that other radio don't worry about it we're not using it that's a Kenwood TS520 and you could do it the same way as the 430S oh the other thing and I don't want to uh, forget this if you use this method, there are things in the computer control program, and there are uh, buttons that you can use to control the audio input, the audio output, control the frequency, control a whole bunch of stuff. You can't use any of that because you don't have a USB. The Kenwood does not have a USB port, and neither does the TS520. So we put it on 20 meters. I have it hooked up to a dummy load. I have the computer on. Oh, and by the way, this is not the way I normally have this set up. The, the, as far as the screen, the computer screen doesn't ordinarily set up on top of those radios because they need ventilation. So we're set up with our uh, WSJTX computer program. I brought up the waterfall in the back. We have, this is the audio controller uh, screen for the computer. And then this here is the other part of the uh, FT8 program. And you can see it's already 
receiving stuff even on my cantana located down here. Now, let's go back to the radio because I want to show you what I do with the radio. We've got to get nice and tight on that on that uh, meter. I'm going to set the Vox on. We're on upper side band. We're on ALC. The ALC is your key here. The ALC reading is right there. So we have our Vox on, our ALC switch up. I put this on wide and we're going to watch that meter. Now, if I put us on tune, you see we went on the air. You will see that my ALC meter is not moving. If I shut this off, it does not move. That's where you set it. And I am still putting out, if I swing over to here, 100 watts. No, yeah, 100, just a little over 100 watts. Now, if I start to overdrive that, you will see my ALC will start to go up. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to overdrive it a little bit with the uh, volume on the speakers. The speaker volume is there will stay there, in fact. So I start bringing it up. And then if you look down here, no, not down there, what am I doing? I'm putting out almost 200 watts, and that radio is weighted, rated for 100. So you know I'm doing some bad stuff. And my ALC meter is now moving. I'm going to kill my dummy load. So it's down, I transmit, it goes up. I am over modulating. I would be putting out, if I was on, on the air, I'd be putting out uh, harmonics that we don't want. So you want it adjusted so it doesn't move. And is what I do, doesn't move, I'm rattling that back and forth, is what I do, I have some pretty poor antennas, stealth antennas. If I want 100 watts, I will adjust that. Okay, I'm down, because my antennas are not that great, to 100. When it first reaches that, anywhere in there, and I'll look at my ALC and see that it doesn't move, that's where I put it. If I'm on a good antenna, I can run this at six. Some people get worldwide communications on 20 watts. You won't be over modulating. Everybody will be happy. And if you have nice antennas, you're good to go at anywhere to five to 60 watts, 75 watts, and you won't be over, over modulating. And I just put that tune again and you don't see the ALC move at all. A little on-air light at the bottom comes on and no ALC. We'll let that cantana cool. And that's how you do it. That's all there is to it. So now we're going to uh, make sure this is set up to try and get a hold of someone by using the Vox on this radio. We have our Vox switch on right here. Tune it. We have power out up here and our ALC meter right here. Hopefully it'll focus. It did. Right there is not moving. And I shut it off. Now it's off of the air and it's just an S meter now. We turn it on, 
power goes up and the ALC goes down to nothing. So we're set up for that. I normally don't do this with the screen up there because the window reflects on it, but maybe I'll just leave it there. And we'll see if we can get a hold of someone. We'll wait for someone to come up and try to get a hold of them. And we did. And we did that all with uh, just the box running. That's an idea. So that's it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please give it a like. And if you like what you've seen on this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.